Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the Square One. Let's get started. So I'm going to show a case on here on the top and bottom layer. Um, this this is like, well, I'll show you for example, like uh, top layer, all the edges are solved. All the way around on the corners like that. The corner edges or edges, it's the same thing. Um, and on the bottom too, it's the same thing. Like the edges are solved like that all the way around. This is a very rare case. Like I've never had this case where on the top and the bottom, it's the same thing like that. Like the same exact pattern like this all the way around where it's solved like that. And all, you know, and all it left is the centers. Yeah, it's a very, very, very rare case. <laughs> so just want to show exactly how to do this just so you just so you get an idea how to solve these centers on the top and bottom um but that doesn't mean you know like it's just a general also it's a general uh i'm going to show how to solve that the centers like that on the top and bottom you don't have to exactly have this exact case but i'll show you the point of it so where the slice is here you're going to have to bring this one around like that you can't solve it here like this because it's already solved here so you got to have this in front where this is on the left side the bar like this you got your edges over here like this and I'm gonna just turn this over here um, so we're gonna do an algorithm um, to solve the centers on the top we're gonna start with that so we're gonna do uh, a one going that way then a slice. So you do a one, slice, three going that way, one, three, slice, three going that way on the bottom, two, three, slice, three going that way, one, three, slice, three coming back, two, three, slice. And so now on the top layer, we have a bar here like this, a solid bar or whatever you have. Maybe you still have another pair, like a double pair, like a blue and blue or whatever color it is, green and green or the bar. You just put it, put it on the left side here and we'll do an algorithm. We're not going to do a one. We're just going to do a straight slice first. So you do a slice, three going that way, two, three, slice. Three coming back this way, one, three, slice, three that way, two, three, slice, and then three coming back this way, one, three, slice. So what did happen, the centers did rotate around, and we have to do it one more time. Usually, most of the time, you're going to have to do it twice to get it solved, so let's do it one more time, same thing. We do a one going that way, one, slice, three on the bottom going that way, one, three, slice, three coming back this way, two, three, slice, three that way, three, slice, and then three coming back this way, two, three, slice. <clears throat> then same thing, put the bar on the left side here like that and then don't do a one just we're going to do the slice first slice three going that way two three slice three going that way one three slice three that way two three slice and then three that way one three slice <clears throat> so as you could see our top layer all the centers are solved all the way around. They all rotated into place. And our top layer is solved. So now we're going to do the bottom layer. You just do a slice like that to bring it up to the top. Bring it around like that. Take the other white part on the bottom. Bring it around like that. And bring it up to the top. So same thing, you just put this bar on the left side or whatever you have, if you have two dots like this, put it on the left side. 
usually you'll have a bar. I mean, if everything's in place, so we'll do the same algorithm. You do a one slice, three going that way, one, three, slice, three coming back, two, three, slice, three going that way, one, three, slice, three that way, two, three, slice. We got our bar here, keep it on the left side, and we'll start with the slice move. Slice, three that way, two, three, slice, three that way, one, three, slice, three that way, two, three, slice, three that way, one, three, slice. So there we go, our uh, top layer is solved. Um, let me put this back up top, the bottom, <laughs> top, <laughs> like that. So there we go. Um, just want to show how to solve the top and bottom layer, let you have an idea how to do that specific case where you got to rotate, you know, like rotate the three centers around like that. Usually you have to do it two times most of the time. Sometimes you do it once, but usually it'll be twice. You do the same algorithm how I showed. You know, you do the one, then the slice, and then you put the bar on the left side after that, you know, like I showed, and then you do the slice first, that, do the threes. So, yeah, thank, thank you for joining me today for this tips tutorial on square one. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below in the comments section. I will reply to you. Sunday night here in Chicago, I have my McDonald's coffee, McCafe. Still got a lot left, and I'm loving it. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for joining me for this tips tutorial. Uh, I used uh, the Max uh, YJ MGC Magnetic Square 1. This is a great one. Um, like I mentioned in my other video, if you ever get a chance to try an MGC Square 1, if you ever get a chance to try this puzzle, Try out the MGCs because they're the best ones. Like I have, I have the Yushins and uh, X Men's. Like MGC is the best. I mean, the corner cutting is great because most square square ones don't usually have good corner cutting. Like some of them don't have any. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great square one. So if you ever get a chance, check out an MGC. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, yeah, I appreciate your time. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will definitely reply to you. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And happy Sunday, everyone. Have a great night.